I still vividly remember my reaction to the first trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. The one with the terrible blue nightmare creature. You remember. Everyone remembers. It was so bad that an entire movie studio was bullied into fixing it. It delayed a Hollywood film. That's how strong the negative reaction was. And somehow, I'm sitting here two years after the release of the first film to tell you that Sonic the Hedgehog is the best video game film franchise going. Sonic 2 is here. I'm here to tell you that it lives up to the first film and it sets a new bar for video game film adaptations. Let's talk about why. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? <laughs> Being reckless. Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. <laughs> but you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? The premise for Sonic 2 is that Dr. Robotnik is back, he's got a new friend in Knuckles the Echidna, and they're on a quest to claim the ultimate power, and probably beat up Sonic along the way if they can, you know, make those two things coincide. What follows is a very straightforward action movie, but the big difference between Sonic 2 and its predecessor is this movie focuses on the Sonic characters more than the human characters. Yes, Tom and his wife and all their human people that live in Green Hills, Montana, they're still here. They're still in the movie. But they're largely confined to their own separate space. Most of the human characters only have one big scene, and it's a big wedding scene. It's one of the funnier scenes, scenes in the movie. I enjoyed the scene. It's a little strange, but I liked it quite a bit. But aside from that, and like one or two exceptions, it's about Sonic and Tails. It's about Eggman and Knuckles going after the Master Emerald. And that's not something I expected, but I really enjoyed the change. Ben Schwartz is back as the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm still not completely sold, to be honest. But what I do enjoy is this characterization of Sonic, this depiction of Sonic as a kid. This is the most immature that we've seen Sonic, I think. And I like him. He's charming. He gets into trouble. He's fast enough to get away with it. He can throw a house party and clean it up before his parents get home. The depiction of Sonic has grown on me, even if the voice really hasn't. Of course, counter to Sonic, we have Jim Carrey coming back as Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman. He's both in this movie, and that's funny to me. He's phenomenal. Jim Carrey knocks this role out of the park. He's fantastic as a very eccentric, mad scientist character. I really had my doubts way back when, and I can talk about that because I didn't review the first movie on this channel, but he, he does it, he makes it. He makes the character his own. It's not the Eggman that I've come to expect over the years playing games on the Dreamcast and things like that, but it's still very much Dr. Eggman. It's, it's totally fine, I like it, I think it's great. Sometimes he maybe doesn't quite land all the jokes, but maybe the problem is that I'm in my 30s. The real star of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, though, is Knuckles as played by Idris Elba. <laughs> After the announcement of Idris Elba as the voice of Knuckles, followed by that first trailer where Knuckles only delivers very cool, tough guy lines, I wasn't super sold on Knuckles being in this movie. But then they did my absolute favorite thing that anyone has ever done with Knuckles. They made him stupid. They made him stupid. They don't play Knuckles straight for more than like 10 minutes. And that makes Knuckles so charming. This is maybe my favorite Knuckles out of any depiction that I've seen up to this point. I love Idris Elba's Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has delivered a film adaptation of a video game that doesn't rely on a lot of concessions in order to reach a broader audience. The first film did this quite a bit with the excessive amount of time that some of the other human characters were on screen and involved in the story. But Sonic 2 is about the video game characters doing video game things that are familiar to people who play Sonic the Hedgehog video games. And it's still good. And I think that's great. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is the truest video game movie that we've had so far, I think. It's still approachable for people who aren't maybe as familiar with the property as, you know, people like me or children, you know. <laughs> 
the average audience for Sonic the Hedgehog. Speaking of children, my son absolutely adored this movie. You should absolutely take your children to see Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It is wholesome. It is fun. There isn't anything in here that I would even describe as intense. He just sat there and he grinned ear to ear, clutching his little Tails toy the whole two hour runtime of this film. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is, in my opinion, the best video game movie we've gotten so far, but it still isn't perfect. Those one or two scenes that I talked about that focus on the human characters off in their own little side section, they're, on, they're not unenjoyable, but they are kind of only tenuously connected to everything else that's going on. So the movie doesn't quite flow as nicely as it could. It's still a great movie. It's still a wonderful time though. I absolutely recommend that you see Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And that's why I'm gonna give it a score of 4.5 out of five. Fear not, citizen. You are terrible at this. Your negative attitude is not helping. <laughs> we stick together, no matter what. You're unskilled. Untrained. Unworthy. You forgot one. Unstoppable. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Maybe click the like button if you feel like it. I think there's a bell too. If there's a bell, you should interact with it. And die. For a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. Ah! Ah!